and then it came up, in fact you lose. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Well, that would be shit, but, yeah, well. Oh, uh, well. You see, mind that one time when I, I cheated and it was the uh, World Eight. Mind as I killed the boss, I died. And that. Uh, oh. Wait, what's up, Blue Crate? Blue Crate, that's uh, the VR training and that, but that's pish. No, I don't know about it. Although I might show off near the end just to have a glimpse. Uh, <laughs> One ugly girl. <laughs> Is that Smile, the white hand? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I wonder about what Grant feels like doing with a lady. <laughs> uh. yeah, she does get very tempered easily. Who, Grant? <laughs> I can see Grant then now, except she'd get blown away with a shotgun. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh bu super buddies now. Yeah. But, uh, now we're on to the Orimental Peaks. Yeah, this is the mountain area, pretty much. Uh, yeah, first missing Chokes Wahe. Oh. Chokes Wahe. Mm. Uh, see that there, that thing over there, that's uh, the stealth harrier. Oh. And yeah, I think, I don't know what that creature is over there, that looks a little like a yeti, but at the same time I can't help but think it's a polar bear. Now I think that's Yeti. Uh, it is, because the polar bears was in the other one. Yeah, because I mind, I think the whole style I'm going for this goes from a bull to a wolf. No, wait, bull, yeah, it's a bull to a wolf to a grizzly bear to a polar bear to a Yeti and then finally to a lion. And that. Honestly, see the lions, they're exceptionally deadly. Like, I think even with the cyborg, you can get killed like three or four hits. Most buddies get killed like two. And that's what so. about super buddies? Yeah, oh, they get killed really easily. I remember this one. These were my favourite maps because I had the runway, the look at it, because Chinese, they do amazing gardens. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mind you played this a bunch of times in that. Their garden style is beautiful. Even that, although it's a pixelated game. Well, I have to make the music, that's not too bad either than that. But I would have to say that probably... See, uh, yeah, I'd say see World Seven. That's really good. I'm actually looking forward to that world, even though it's the second hardest world next to the final world. So, oh, can't you get like a super super buddy? And oh, you can get mega creeps. Yeah, well, look at that. You can run these buddies like, you like they just can't do anything in that against you. But see, here's the thing, right? These super buddies are so badass. They don't even use weapons or vehicles because they're that badass. Would you like to be that badass, Jay, that you don't need weapons or vehicles? <laughs> uh, I mean, they're pretty powerful on their own, but when you get super... I kept on stealing their planes. If I see you, you know what I'll do, right? Oh, well, I'll just kill this bloody off. And, uh, yeah. I think there should be a Yeti, yeah. See that guy there? I know, he'll pretty much... I think he does about 40 health of damage per hit. Pretty tough. And, uh, but... Eh, yeah, shouldn't be that bad. Alright, so if I can get a super, super buddy, then I can do some real damage. Alright. See, now I can just glide. Oh boy. And now, see, the super, super buddies can actually see invisible buddies. I mean, their ability is fucked. And, uh,. What would you say is the best buddy? I would probably say the super super buddy next to uh yeah the super buddy and then after that the ninja, then the invisible buddies, then the commandos, then the medics, then the cyborgs, and finally there's the regular shitty infantry because they don't have any special abilities. And that's uh. uh uh, so, because the thing is, when, even though they, they don't show up on the radar, you can still see them. So, I'm just trying to hover around. Oh, there we go. Twat. <laughs> but mine's rizzling them hit, and it makes sure that you can't do anything. Oh. oh, one of my teammates are dead. Yeah, one very easily, less than three minutes. I just 
bring her back to life. <laughs> Oh, uh, I can bring them back to life. I've got a spell, or I can go to the church. So I'll go to the end. So one of them died. Mm. Nah, I can bring them back to life. Yeah. I, I don't care if they died because they're easily. Yeah. You know, I still mind in that. See, I was talking about that game Shimigami Tensei in that, right? You know, one thing I mind was that in the hard mode of the game, because there was a, a normal mode and an extreme mode, I think what was it called? A, uh, was it your true goddess mode? I don't know why they called it that, but. Apparently, you know what, if you were in that mode and that any deaths that you had from like your demons and that, they would be dead permanently. Like, you had this bunch of spells that you could use to revive people, but in true goddess mode, you couldn't do that. And uh, so it meant if any one of your allies died, like human allies died, that was like game over. Because, you see, the thing is, is that the canon story is that none of them die, so if one of your partners die, that's it. But it's bad enough that your demons apparently die, but if you yourself die, or anyone else who's a human, then yeah, you're fucked. And that. Aww. And deaths are pretty common in the Shimigami Tensei, believe me. When I played through that game, on the normal board, I died countless amount of times. And that's simply because the fucking enemies were brutal. I like that what they did, they came with their stains. Kind of how it looks like that. <laughs> I find it rather... I want a Chinese themed garden. Kind of like we Lake, bit with a bridge with a nice tree. That would look stunning. Oh, wow. Yeah, it goes a lot of money, though. Oh, that's stole his weapon, now I'm using it against him. You're hitting your base. Yeah, it's because there was a bunch of guys ambushing us. Someone's dead. So, at least that's out of the way. And we managed to ward off the attackers. See, the weapon's not too bad because it's like the, the rocket, multi rocket launcher from you know, World of War. So, this one all aims. Oh, it's like this weapon's piece. Uh, it's like, honestly, this is probably one of the best weapons in that. Like, you know, next to, like, say, the Garlin Cannon, the Ankh, the uh, Moyob Gun. You get some really good weapons in that. This is one of the good ones. Also, look at that. That's like a whole, like a weird tank. See it? Yeah, it's like a Japanese one. You know Japanese ones? Are they supposed to be a flame tank, though? Like, you see the nozzle? Mm. Yeah. See, they've got like a huge fucking fort. Other than that. Fucking hell. So they get that. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, it's like armed by like fucking turret. I'll take care of that. Oh. It's probably feeling there were still people in there. Stay out of range, and you can There we are. Now, I'm not really sure, I don't think you're meant to blow this up. I'm not even sure what the objective was in that, but I'm just going to try it anyway. 
but uh, also this mission is actually not too bad, and uh, all things considered. Oh, might just be another one of those easy but long missions, and that. Because there are a few missions that aren't too bad, they're just long. I wonder, I, okay, I'm curious, what's the most coolest looking weapon you've seen so far? Like, all of six worlds you've been at so far? The Ankh. The Ankh? Oh, you mean like World 3? Mm -hmm. Ah, I can see why there's, so it's, it's like the year 4 death beat. Except, you know, you have to have that weapon yourself. And the look at it. It's very Egyptian-y looking, eh? Ah, apparently we've got a jeep. What's your vehicle? Grab the scientist. So yeah, I think we need to escort the scientist with us. I don't know why we need to escort him with us. Um, that maybe, you know, his legs are damaged or it's just too fucking lazy. Ah. So yeah, we've got to escort him this fucking jeep here. You could just run through a gravestone. Yeah, well, I bet it's enemy's gravestone, and that's a... Take that for a while, is. So, okay, I don't know where we might go, and, uh, like, I haven't got a fucking clue. I'm going to guess it's a yellow base, and that's, that seems to look like a place of importance. And that, but, yeah. Uh, uh, looks like we're doing not too bad overall. But, yeah. I would say, uh, yeah, this world's actually a tad bit easier than World 5. And this, that's the only case where the world actually gets overall easier, because the stage I struggled on this one was actually the boss. And, uh, I mean, it's a pretty hard boss, but, again, if you know what you're doing, and you take your time, it's not too bad. Right. I don't think it's here. Oh no, my days. I lied. <laughs> uh, there's that. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. That wasn't too shabby. Alright, so. What's the next one? Chinese burn. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is like a. Like, a kind of another capture mode mission. So you have to. Switch on all these lanterns and that, if I remember correctly. And you get the Harrier in this one as well. Yeah, the stealth Harrier. Honestly, I think the Harrier's a shit. And, I mean, you kind of auto aim the missiles for you, but even then, crap. And that, I'm not a fan of planes, I'm sorry, but this, in this game, you just don't seem to Planes are my favourite vehicle. Yeah. I mean, at least for you, you get a choice of vehicles to fly in. And that, you know. It goes planes, old fashioned cars, futuristic cars. Certain types of boats, like the big cruises, ah. and then helicopters are actually, and helicopters, the vans, and horrible cars are actually my least favourite. Oh wow. Yeah, you know the funny is, I actually remember, Team GT4, do you ever remember getting this vehicle called the Tug? It was like this huge fucking boat that you can like, drive and that. Mm. that Aye. Yeah, that was some, and that was... That was ugly. Oh, but that was brilliant. Yeah, it was too slow. And that, uh, but honestly, that's like the biggest vehicle I think GT, you know, like Rockstar has ever done. And uh, I wish they did it again. And uh, but honestly, oh, got you. yeah, one for me and one for my guy. And that uh, just so he needs to protect himself. But, yeah, first things first, eliminate the enemy. Now, because I'm super fast, these fuckers don't have a chance. Oh, it's just pure chaos. Chaos. Look at they don't stand a chance against me. Honestly, this is a great combination if you know what you're doing. And I died. Lol. Are you wanker? Alright, 
So anyway, back to what I was doing. Kale I was tech. temporarily interrupted. Yeah, I don't think there's any stealthy suspicions, so... Right, now I'll take on their team. Oh, they're giving themselves shit weapons. I don't know. They, those things don't stand a chance. I'm sorry, they don't. Yeah, superior firepower, bitches. Need heals. That shouldn't be a problem. Seriously, that was easy. Like, holy shit, that mission was. And once again, no time on it. And just to make sure, I don't know. Because last time I watched them rebuilding, while I'm away, like, getting all these lands. So yeah, we probably just got to switch all these lines around and that's it. Alright. Hmm, this one's a bit tricky to get up on. Alright, let's see. Alright, come here, let's see if we drop it. Oh, lightning grenade. I think this is like a World 7 weapon. Oh, that's beast. Not right now. Oh, this is that stealth part there. <laughs> well, can't agree with that. I'm sorry, I'm just not a fan of playing sorry, but they're shit. For me. It's still moving. Yeah, it's because I kind of like. Oh, don't please do that when you get out of them, they still like move because of the, the wheels underneath it. Like, no, it's because it was moving all fast. Do you think since you put the brakes on and that? Yeah, I just jumped out. <laughs> and I didn't activate the brakes on that, but yeah, another easy mission out of the way. I wish I could say the same for the next one. Yeah, this is, if you wanted, this is the third boss. And, uh, what so, is this, what you have to do in this one? This, yeah, this is called Mad Mex. Other than that. Basically, this has two phases again. This one, you have to first destroy the turrets and the base, and then you got to destroy the mech inside it. And trust me, the mech is an absolute bitch. Seriously, this one can go fuck itself, as far as I care.